Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna find out uh, can you upgrade your Huawei D14 2021 model or what you actually can upgrade on it. And of course we're gonna see how you can open up this little uh, laptop and what's happening inside of it as well. First things first, you have to remove all the screws pointed there on the back panel. You need a little special screwdriver for that. It's called Torx T5. I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you wanna purchase similar one what I'm using there. It's it's a great tool, it has many many different bits with it, so it's gonna be useful for other jobs as well. So remove all the screws. You don't have to separate them, they're all the same size, so it doesn't matter where they're coming out or where they're going back in, they're gonna fit either way. Okay, that's the last one there now. Yeah, and you need a little uh, plastic tool if you have one. If not, uh, use your fingers. Don't use anything metal, especially screwdrivers or anything similar. It's just gonna break your laptop or damage it at least. <laughs> so take good care now. It took me probably, what, 30 seconds, maybe a minute to open that. It did resist a little bit, I have to say. So take your time there. Don't break anything. I found it best now to open these from the back, you can probably do whatever way it suits you now, but that works for me anyway, so... And as I said, uh, it does resist a little bit, but once it's back of it is off, it comes off really easy, so... That's it, back panel is uh, more or less removed, I'm just gonna show you now the inside of the back panel as well, just in case if you're looking for a spare part or anything like that now, so... And also I'm gonna leave exact uh, model number in description as well, so you can be sure it's very same as your one. So that's the inside of it, now I have bad news for you. Before you ask, RAM is not upgradable, RAM is soldered on the motherboard, that's the battery with the serial number as well if you're looking for spare part so repeat myself here again ram is not upgradable this model has eight gigs of ram and that's it can't upgrade can't take it off can't do anything with it that's your cpu this one has core i3 11th generation cpu intel of course that's specific to this laptop now your one could have a different cpu altogether that cpu fan there and that's your solid state drive good news is this is upgradable at the moment there's a 256 gigs in it and we're gonna upgrade that to one terabyte in just a few moments okay before we're gonna remove a solid state drive you do need a little different bit for it there's actually little markings on it there's 3.8 ph1 as well so just one screw holding that in a spot. Well, okay, before we do that, I do recommend disconnecting battery, just in case not to cause any shorts on the motherboard or, or anything else. And just a little thing here now, I think one of the videos someone was giving out to them, not wearing gloves or whatever. Look, I do things the way I want to do them, you do whatever way it suits you, so don't do criticize me for that, I'm just showing you how to upgrade laptops and that's about it you can absolutely do whatever way it suits you okay that's the solid state drive now that's the part when someone was giving out to them touching this and i'm up bending them <laughs> not really bending anything here and uh, look can't make everyone happy i suppose okay that was the drive and that's the new one now going in that's samsung 970 evo plus great drives a uh, bit old now i suppose as well you can get newer models faster i suppose as well so but i'm using this they're cheap as well i don't even remember what price was it for me now i bought that long time ago so that's a closer look now on the solid state drive itself and i have to say this laptop works great even with previous solid state drive but even better with this one i'm gonna put into windows later on just to show you some specs of it i'm not fooling you and it does work so you'll see it yourself just in, in about a minute now so that's all what's left to do put the screw back there and connect the battery of course as well do not forget that i made that mistake many 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 times before got too excited there connected everything except battery closed the laptop and then realized it's not connected so you have to open it obviously again so i just check before you close laptop everything is connected 
that's it now, back panel goes back, I suppose same way as it took it off, and all the screws back in again, just a gentle little press and it will go into the right place itself. And same thing, just uh, change the bit now again to Torx T5. I'm gonna speed things up a little here because it's not really interesting to watch me screwing things in there. So once that done, we can boot into Windows and we'll just go briefly over a few specs of this laptop. Okay, that's it. And we should be in Windows just in a few minutes now, a few seconds. And by the way, you have to, you will have to reinstall Windows. So that wasn't magic there. I, I did spend, I suppose, about an hour to installing the system and so on. Okay, we'll go to properties, just show you the specs of it. There you go, there's Intel Core i3, 11th gen, 8 gigs of RAM. Very basic, but still good laptop fast enough. Uh, you won't do any hardcore video editing or anything like that with it, but it's good for casual kind of computing or anything like that. I'll go to device manager as well, just to go over a few more specs here. That's your disk drive now, as you see, the Samsung, what I showed you earlier, is there, working 100% and your CPU here as well. I'm gonna show you the, the display adapter as well. It has Ultra HD graphics, so as I said, pretty basic, but does the job, so it's not a bad laptop. Well built as well, actually, in pretty good materials, all, all, all that. Okay, there, another look on that. And as you see, all working. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, subscribe, like the video. Bye.